right. Thank you for staying with the Monday Report. The discussion is ongoing right now. We're talking about a conversation we rarely ever talk about as a people, that is death and how to give your loved ones a decent send-off without the stress that comes with the financial constraints. And I'm sure in one way or another you've been involved in a WhatsApp group trying to contribute to burial of a relative, a friend. Any time that happens, we always contribute. But can you plan ahead for it? This is a conversation we're having, and I'm having officials here from Cooper who are telling me for as little as 100 shillings every month, you can be covered in terms of logistics, casket costs, mortuary fees. And they're here with me. John Onyango Otolo is the CEO of Cooper Kenya, and Paul Ogola, Cooper beneficiary. Paul, before we went on the break, you're telling me about how, when you lost your father and the way you had people in the WhatsApp groups. When you wake up in the morning, they've all, some of them have left, pledges don't come through. But then compare that to when you joined Cooper and then your mama or your mother passed on. How different was that experience? Actually, when I lost my father, I was mourning two things. One, I was mourning my deceased father. Yeah. And I was also mourning about the problems associated with his demise. Meaning, trying to figure out how I'm going to make sure that the burial is conducted and also to avoid Aibu. But when I lost my mother, I was celebrating her. Because one, we had tried as a family uh, throughout the period that she was unwell, but time came that she rested. And we felt that yes, it's okay if she has rested, then the best that we can do is now to give her the best send off uh, at that time. Mm -hmm. So when I involved my family and I told them that yes, uh, mama's gone and we have got a uh, uh, an organization called Cooper Kenya that I am a member of, and Cooper Kenya is going to provide the following. One, an executive casket. Two, mortuary bill for 14 days. Three, clothing. Four, transportation. Five, lowering gear. Six, gazebo tent. And seven, is a trolley. All of them wondered, like, what do you mean? Do such organizations exist? Is it an insurance? So that is to answer another question that came in. Cooper, even though it works like an insurance, but it is a welfare organization registered under Societies Act. So what we do is just like an association, yeah. even of villagers who have come together and have set aside some of the rules that when something happens to yeah. Paul, then each and every homestead should give the following. Now we don't wait for something to happen, then we tell our members now bring. We collect, then in case it happens, yeah. we are in a position to accord them a decent send off, minus stress, yeah. and they can be able to mourn their loved ones peacefully. Okay. So at that time, myself, I celebrated my mother because I was able to give her the best send off. Mm. Yes. And, and uh, Paul, you were a beneficiary who became an employee. Yes. But then John is a founder. John, what inspired all this? Yeah, I come from a humble background. Yeah. You know, I was brought up in Nairobi in the informal settlement of Korogocho. Korogocho <clears throat> has around nine villages. I was, uh, we, we were brought up in Gomongo. So basically, uh, I lost my dad at a tender age, 13 years. And uh, when I lost my dad, I was left with my mom. My mom was working for Nairobi City Council. So during those days, life was tough because it was taking long for them to earn salary because there was issues. And sometimes you'd stay for six months without her getting her salary. So when she gets a salary, it goes back to debts. So basically she joined a uh, a chama, which was uh, formed in that area. And every, day, every time she was uh, asking me or sending me to pay for her in this chama, and she was telling me that this is the group that, that was going to bury me. So I, I had high hopes. So when she died, and then I went to the group to claim, and then they told me that they were going to do a fundraiser and they are going to give us the money to take care of the burial. So I was busy following with the employer on her benefits. 
And uh, because she was taken to city mortuary, they waived the bill. And uh, <clears throat> I was also given 10,000 for coffin. And I was expecting the part of uh, the remaining uh, burden to be taken care, care of by the group. So later when they conducted a fundraiser, they raised around 180,000. So they came and told me that they are going to give me 50K. The rest was for the office. So I got disappointed and I felt cheated. And I told myself because I saw people were very much um, committed to this group. And I was like, are they also waiting to suffer the fate that I suffered? And I told myself, I, ha I have to rescue these people. So I capitalized on their weakness. They were, contrib uh, they were collecting money from door to door and uh, writing the contribution on the book. And then I said, I'll use technology to leverage. Yeah. And then that is how uh, Cooper came. Yeah. It didn't come immediately. I was, of course, working for NGOs for quite a long time. Yeah. And this dream was bothering me. So one day I looked for like-minded individuals and we sat down and we started formulating policy and also uh, developing the product. So our vision is to facilitate and assist financially challenged Kenyans yeah. to get empowered in the event of unforeseen eventuality. Okay. But now we are taking away the financially challenged Kenyans. That part, we are scrapping it out because these days, many people who are also financially stable have joined Cooper. Okay. So we facilitate uh, Kenyans to get empowered in the event of unforeseen eventuality our mission is to consolidate self-confidence, empower and build capacity of Kenyans for sustainable development yeah. and protection from exploitation through pooling of resources together. Okay. So lowest cover is 100? Yes. What is the maximum cover? Maximum is 700. 700 yes. per month? Per month for, if you have parents who are with between 90 to 100 years. Okay. Yeah. And if it's less than that? Uh, less than that, parents between 69 years and below, you pay 250. Okay. Parents between 40 and any, uh, 70 to 79 is 400. And if you have parents between 80 to 89, mm. is 500 per month. Okay. Yeah. Does the distance matter? Say if uh, a loved one loses their life here in Nairobi, and from my village, you tend to bury in the village. That's in Kisumu, Nyakach, Gondani, and Dengopanga. Mm. Does, it, does the distance matter? It doesn't matter to us because we also go for bodies from Kis Mombasa all the way. Okay. We send a bus that is to Mombasa and take, uh, we go to Bari in Kisumu and we take them back. Okay. Yes. Can you do, a, can you do a, a budget for both? Say, for example, if you're going to give an executive casket and the family feels that they need to top up and buy an even more executive casket than what you're offering, mm. is that an option? Where you yeah, say this it's is an the option. Category Actually, yes. Uh -huh. We have three types of coffins. We have decent coffin. We have a um, classic coffin. And we have executive okay. casket. Yes. So it depends on what the family wants? Yeah. Okay. Mm. And as I see a lot of questions in terms of how to register. Does the, you can just take that through that again one more time. Actually, how does one you, become a member? There yeah. are many questions on how do I become a member here. Yes, actually we have, on, uh, we have digitalized onboarding process okay. and we've made it easy. Even if you have your Katululu there, you can register now. Okay. You just dial star 483, star 210 hash, and then you start filling that form. Okay. I repeat, star... 483, start to 10 hash, and then you start filling the form. Okay. Another process is you can uh, go to Google Play Store and you download our app. Just search Cooper Kenya, and then you'll download the app and you start registering yourself. Okay. Another procedure for registration, you can go to our website, www dot Kupa Kenya. Kupa is K U P A Kenya dot com and then you go to register, you click the button and then you are going to start filling the form. Okay. Another one is you just send Citizen TV 
the message, the word Citizen TV, to 20890. Okay. Our staff are standby right now. Okay. The citizen to 20890. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's bring up some of the questions. A lot of questions are coming in online. Let's bring them up. And any of you can respond to these questions because okay. I know, Paul, also you've gone through this and you know uh, where the shoe pinches. And I see Ray Soros says, can we get alternative investments for the monthly payments for Cooper last respect package? Okay. Uh, okay, let's bring that up. Can, can we get alternative investments for the monthly payment for the Cooper's last respect package? Actually, the payment that, uh, the contribution that are made by our members, yeah. it's not savings, I say that. It's meant to foot expenses for the people who have lost their loved ones. Every, ma every week, like this week we have like, how many? We have 45. 45, 45 burials. Days. Yes. Okay. Yes. Sometimes they go up to 60 mm -hmm. per week. So basically the resources and the contribution that we raise every month are meant for burials. Okay. And if you look at our mission, we say to consolidate self-confidence, empower and build capacity of Kenyans mm -hmm. for sustainable development. We as Cooper, we've been asked so many times by our members, can you come up with something that can help us when we are still alive. Yeah, like an so investment are, plan. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we are working on a model that looks at uh, ba um, uh, before death, mm. during death, and after death. So we are looking for even uh, investors who can, we can uh, partner with them so that we can look for how we can come up with programs that are going to help us in terms of livelihoods okay. before we uh, we lose you lose your loved one okay so basically that is part of our plan yeah and we don't want to rush because these things are very sensitive we want something that is sustainable okay and we are taking our time also the issue of health we have the plan and okay. health is very uh, it's not easy to manage mm -hmm. yeah and we want to partner with people who are able to develop health cover that is pocket friendly yeah. because health cover is very expensive. Yes. So we are looking for uh, partners who can work with us to develop a suitable cover to our clients mm. so that we can also come up with a health cover for them. Okay. Mm. Uh, Paul, having been a beneficiary yourself, and there's a lot of questions, I'm coming back to them in just a bit. Having been a beneficiary yourself and now an employee, what more do you want Cooper to do? Because you know, I'm sure you, there are those gaps that you see that fine, they came through at the last moment when I was burying my loved one. What more do you have wanted? What kind of innovations should they come up with again? Okay, one, first of all, it is very important uh, to stay focused, especially when you have got a vision. So Cooper's vision was to make sure that the funeral burden is eased for its members, and we cannot run away from that. Yeah. But uh, uh, having said so, we are aware uh, a number of our clients have been asking about the health cover, which is okay. But you know, health is somehow complicated. Mm -hmm. And before we just rush into it, we need to take time, think about it, consult, and have a healthcare system that is also affordable because we know our clientele and we don't want to uh, bring in something that's also going to make them, uh, uh, give them another burden. So we are easing the burden of uh, uh, death, but we are also looking for other partners who can also support us in having affordable health care for our loved ones as they. Okay. And John, I see a question about whether you can support a bereaved person abroad. Diaspora. Actually, hey, we have so many members abroad okay. and they are watching. Okay. Yes. So how does that work for them? Actually, how do they make their contributions? Uh, yeah, they send their contribution. Yeah. yeah, and also we advise them uh, they can pay annually. Okay. And uh, there's a discount. If you pay annually or semi-annual, we give you a discount. Okay. So actually we interact with them. Right now we are partnering with the other service provider uh, to, to ensure that uh, we revamp our customer service whereby we are going to uh, integrate uh, the social media platforms to ease in communication with people who are outside the country. 
Okay. So they are also planning to go outside yeah. to pitch for them. Okay. Because mostly people go outside and the the people who are left here in Kenya, they, they look upon them and mostly they, they are the, like the breadwinners. Mm. So when it comes to issues of um, also becoming or joining Cooper and all that, they ensure they are family members. Yeah, so basically also we work with uh, uh, KQ mm. for repatriation. Okay. So when uh, right now as we speak, we have a body that is arriving in Kenya from Russia. Yes, and uh, once it arrives, we are going to take care of everything from here. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's bring up some of the questions as well. And I see the text messages also coming through. Let's bring up some of the questions and then we'll see what you're saying. Judith Rega uh, says, ask Cooper representatives when buying a coffin, is it them who choose the coffin or the family of the bereaved? I think uh, yeah. uh, I can answer that. Yeah. Uh, currently, I'm in charge of claims. Yeah. And uh, when a member reports a claim, to Cooper, having lost a loved one. There are three things that we ask for. One, we ask you to present us with the ID photocopy of the deceased, if it's an adult, or a birth certificate if a child. We ask you to provide the letter from the area chief confirming to us that the death has occurred in his or her area of jurisdiction and the relationship between the person reporting and the deceased. And three, the invoice from the mortuary that's going to give us the guide on how to make the payment. Having given us those documents, we start now the claim process. And the claim process starts when we ask you now to choose the coffin of your choice. As the CEO has indicated, we have got a, the, the coffin, three types of coffins. Mm. That includes the special, that is the executive. We also have got the decent. Yeah. So whichever you choose, the color of your choice, and the design. Mm. So we have got the decent coffin, which comes in four colors, mm. white, golden brown, mahogany, and also walnut. You don't need to pay anything extra. But if you want a special coffin, that is an executive coffin of your choice, then you are given a budget to go to our workshop because we have got our own workshop. You select whatever you want, and we provide it. Okay. The same applies to clothing. We have got three-piece suit for male. We also have got a burial gown with a veil, with a pair of gloves, with a pair of socks, and to make sure that you are dressed so well and so nice. Okay. But if you have the option of using a robe mm -hmm. or a kanzo in another language, myself, I'm a pastor, and I know when I'm gone, my church will provide a gown for, uh, for me or a robe for me. So we also give our members opportunity to choose if they want to take the Cooper Kenya clothing or they want to use the gown and we compensate for it. Okay. Yes. Let's bring up more questions coming through online here and let's read that up and see what you're saying. Honorable Nixon says, what do they mean by saying we operate as an insurance company? Is Cooper regulated by IRA? Any of you can take that. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe uh, the CEO allow me to take this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are registered under Societies Act okay. and therefore Societies Act regulates us not the IRA. Only that what we are doing is more or less the same to what the insurance does. Mm -hmm. But now we have uh, done it uh, in a different way. Instead of just giving the cash so that you can go and get whatever you want, now we give an opportunity to choose from what we have. Mm -hmm. Unless you think or you feel that what we have is not up to your standard, but now we also give an opportunity that you tell us we are standard and we believe up to it. Okay. Yes. All right, let's bring up more questions coming through. And I have to take a quick break here, but I'll come back with more questions. I'll try and have them answered as much as we can. Ryan Ocheng says, kindly ask Cooper, how do they handle Muslim Cooper beneficiaries who don't need caskets, big events or big events to send off their loved ones? As a contributor, are you given money for compensation? John. Uh, basically, uh, you see there's how Muslims operate when it comes to... Uh, giving a decent burial for their kin. Yeah. For us, it is still complicated in terms of understanding how they operate and uh, we have been trying to consult yeah. because actually we don't discriminate. So we've been trying to consult because we also want to 
and engage them and yeah. bring them on board. So right now we are not, uh, we don't have a cover for Muslims, but we are soon calling them in a meeting so that we can discuss and understand how they can be incorporated okay. in our program. Do you give money for compensation? For Muslims, we don't give money yet. We have not come up with a cover for them. Okay. But for Cooper, we have food basket. Okay. Because at the end of the day, whatever we are giving is not like uh, enough for for the expenses that are required during a burial. So we feel like we want to ensure that Kenyans they don't go to their pocket when they lose their loved ones, and that's why we have food basket. Okay. We are partnering with a partner to ensure that we are able to give money mm -hmm. as an additional service. So basically we have uh, from 50,000 to a half a million mm -hmm. and you only pay annually. Okay. Like uh, for if you want uh, to be given a cash of 50,000, you only pay 664 per year okay. annually. And then in case you lose your loved one, you're able to, give in, to be given 50,000. This is on top of all the others? Yeah, on top of the other services. Okay. We also have a cash amounting to 75,000, mm -hmm. 100,000, 150,000, 250,000, and 500,000. Okay. Yeah. And how much do you pay annually? But we'll come to that in just a bit because I have to take a quick break now right here on Citizen Monday Report. When you come back, there's a lot of your questions. We'll try and pose all of them and you can see what the issues are. It will line up some of them for you to understand how this entire system works. All right. See you in just a bit.